فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير. So one is uh, encouraged to commit extra or to do extra good deeds as much as possible during these uh, uh, four months, particularly the month of Muharram. And uh, among the best deeds is fasting. And as a matter of fact, it has been reported in the Sawan Hadith that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best fasting after the month of Ramadan is fasting during the month of Allah or Allah's month, the month of Muharram. So voluntary fasting during the month of Muharram is highly encouraged, particularly on the 10th of Muharram. The 10th of Muharram marks a great event. When the Prophet ﷺ entered al Madina, as the hadith is narrated by the great companion Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, he said that the Prophet ﷺ noticed that Bani Israel were fasting on the 10th of Muharram. He inquired about it. They say that is a day in which Allah saved Bani Israel from the Pharaoh and he drowned the Pharaoh. So we are celebrating that day. Musa celebrated that day by thanking Allah and he fasted on that day. So we too fast on that day. At that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, نَحْنُ أَحَقُّ بِمُوسَى وَمَنْ مَعَ We have more, we have more rights to Musa Alaihi Wasallam than them, than the children of Israel. So he commanded his companions to fast on the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura. And it was obligatory in the beginning. And the Prophet ﷺ said a great virtues and a great reward for those who will fast even afterward. It became voluntary. He uh, encouraged us to observe fasting on the day. As he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Siyamu Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, fasting on the 10th of Muharram, Ahtasibu ala Allah. I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the reward of fasting on that day an expiation for the sins of the past year. Kafara, an expiation for the sins. What kind of sins? The minor sins. Because the major sins would not be forgiven automatically, whether due to attending Friday prayer or fasting during Ramadan or performing Umrah after Umrah. These are all great deeds. They would automatically wipe away and re uh, remove the minor sins. But the major sins, where the person uh, who's indulged in them or in any of them, require an independent tawbah and a commitment that the person would not redo that sin once again. So imagine if we, inshallah, in a few days, in eight days from today, will be the 10th of Muharram, if we get to fast on that day. Imagine having all the sins of the past year been taken care of. Those who are lucky to perform Hajj, their sins have been forgiven as well. Those who are lucky to fast on the ninth day of the month of Dhul Hijjah, if they were not performing Hajj, they were very lucky because they have the sins of the past year and a year to come were forgiven as well. Allah the Almighty is the most generous, He's the oft forgiving and the most merciful. So He knows our shortcomings and weaknesses. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us every once in a while throughout the entire year, chances after chances, an opportunity to be seized in order to be forgiven. And it marks the, the vast mercy and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then if one does not see these opportunities, he is indeed a big loser. By just fasting on the 10th of Muharram, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive the sins of the past year. <coughs> uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he said, I never saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam so keen to fast on any day other than the ninth day of the 10th day of the month of Muharram, which is uh, Ashura. This hadith is collected by Imam al-Bukhari. I'll continue talking about what's mustahab or recommended uh, during the month of Muharram and uh, the etiquette or the sunnah with regards to fasting on the 10th of Muharram. Uh, as far as the fact that some of the companions said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
that the nine, the tenth day of the month of Muharram was also venetrated uh, by the children of Israel uh, because of the event of saving them from the Pharaoh and drowning the Pharaoh. So wouldn't that be considered like copying them, fasting on the same day? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, because he did not want to do anything similar to Ahlul Kitab or to non-Muslims, even with regards to the ibadat or the various acts of worship. He said, if I live to see the next year, I shall fast or we shall fast on the ninth as well. So he intended to fast a day before the day of Ashura. So this way will be different in our practices than uh, the children of Israel. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it so happened that he died uh, before reaching uh, that day. So it is a sunnah to fast a day before the 10th of Muharram, let's say the 9th. If one fails to fast on the 9th, then perhaps the 10th. If one happened to fast the, uh, the 9th, the 10th and the 11th, that will be uh, the best. So the least is to fast only on the 10th. Or a higher level to fast a day before along with Ashura or a day after along with Ashura, along with the 10th. And uh, the best of the best is to fast the three days altogether, the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept.